Every moment tonight, they lend me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Hi, this is Dana with Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Please consider subscribing and hit the alert for all future videos. Today, what I'm going to be doing is a plan with me from October 18th through October 24th. And what I'm going to be using today is first and foremost my Hobonichi Cousin in the 5A size. Um, the Tombow markers that I've picked out to go with the washi tape I'm going to be using, um, which is a Coffee and Monster Co. kind of fall critters. And I'm going to be using um, Tombow markers in 946, 947 and 942. And then in my dot markers, I didn't really have a lot of choices, so I may not be using these today. Um, Fawn and Island Coral were the only two. I didn't have anything darker than those to kind of give it a fall look. And then I did go ahead and make um, some more kind of fall boxes. These aren't uh, ones I had made before, so I kind of looked at some fall kind of colors and made these um to be to use this week and then the sheer washi in the tan and the coral and then the stickers that i used in my last week and of course my exacto knife and ruler and then what i've done is i kind of went through and reorganized um, kind of the stickers that I want to use in this planner and my weeks when that comes up. Um, I did make some transparent dots for my shop because I've kind of been online looking for them and I don't know if this phase has passed but I really do like using these on my calendar, my monthly calendar view to mark important dates but I still want to see the date through the highlight. So um, where I didn't necessarily want to use a high, like a marker, I wanted to be able to see the date, but look at it and see that it was something important. So I did make some different colorways for that. And then kind of just took some different ones um, that I thought I could pull in. And uh, I'm not using the same sticker book that I've used for weeks now because it doesn't look fall. So I pulled over this, um, this is from, I think this is Sadie Stickers. It was part of, yeah, this is uh, the Sadie Stickers and Miss and Me Owl um, collaboration and it's a reusable sticker book. So I'm gonna pull this over to see if there's full boxes or anything that I could pull from in here. And I think there are some that will match. So I'm going to put that to the side. And we're going to go ahead and get started. But before I get started, I just kind of wanted to show you what I am thinking for the Hobonichi weeks for next year. Um, I, I bought this when I very first opened my shop just to help format and do pencil tests. So like I did pen tests back here somewhere. So I had done a pen and highlighter test just to see kind of what printed on this paper. And then I kind of laid out how I'm thinking I'm gonna use the weeks along with the Hobonichi Cousin for next year. So this will be my everyday carry. I'm gonna do my schedule over here. This one or this one is going to be highlight of the day and then kind of a mood tracker then a to-do list for the week. So if it's something that needs to be done on a particular day, it'll go over here. If it's for the whole week that I need to get done, then it'll be over here. And then this part will be what cleaning I need to do for the week, my goals for the week, and then I kind of just drew out a habit tracker down here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna, you know, this obviously is from 2019, so I'm just gonna kind of play it around with some different layouts and ways I want to set this up so then when 2022 starts, um, I kind of know what I'm doing in the weeks. So this is new to me. I'm going to put that to the side. So let's take a moment and look at the debacle of last week. So 
this is what I had scheduled. We all did this one together. <laughs> and I almost had to cancel everything. So starting on Monday, um, I went to physical therapy and they did something called shredding on my calf. And I could barely walk when I got out of there. So I had to uh, cancel yoga for the next day because my foot and leg hurt so bad. Um, I had done a bunch of Macari orders on Sunday. So when I went to print the labels, I realized that my printer that I use for the shop, um, something with the cartridge wouldn't read that the cartridge was actually in the printer. So the printer wouldn't work. So I had to go online and find a new printer that arrived on Wednesday. Um, was not expecting that. I went to visit my mom and she was t napping and would not get out of bed. So I didn't get to visit her. On Tuesday, yes, I had my mammogram. Um, my dad ended up going to the doctors and they took him over to the emergency room. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, my sister was with him and then Wednesday I was with them all day. So none of this happened. Um, I did go to physical therapy and they basically just did needles and stem and I didn't do any of my exercises so I could get to the hospital. I ate something or did something that disagreed with me. So I was sick all night Wednesday night and all of Thursday. Couldn't visit my mom. Had to cancel my dinner plans. And then on Friday I was feeling better. So I went back to physical therapy. I did film my budget with me and post it. I did work on the shop and was able to set up the new printer and everything like that. Um, Saturday, based on my physical therapy from Friday, I could not do yoga on Saturday. And I did go get to visit my mom with my daughter and my dad. And then today is Sunday the 17th. So that was how my week did. None of my cleaning happened. I did get some laundry done and of course took out the trash. I did not dust, vacuum clean the kitchen or anything like that because pretty much the whole week was derailed. So we have a clean week in front of us. We're gonna have a much better week this week, right? My dad's feeling better. He's out of the hospital. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this this week. So um, let's start. I'm just gonna kind of make some room here. I'm gonna start with putting the washi down. So how was your guys' week last week? I'm hoping much better than my week, but um, let me know. On the bright side, um, I didn't spend a lot of money last week because I really felt like I was either at the hospital with my dad or I was home in bed. So there was that. Um, I also didn't get anything done last week either though, but that's okay. It's one of those times when you're glad that you aren't working because then you're not having to try to work when you're not feeling good. Um, this was part of the fall, I think it was the anniversary, um, her June anniversary for the shop for Coffee Monster Co. This was part of the washi. Now she is doing another washi release on the 19th. And there's four different ones, I believe. Okay. I think I told you that we were supposed to have this kind of cold spell come in. It was one day. And then the rest of the day, we were back into shorts and t-shirts. So let's see what the weather's going to be for this week. I was really sad. I thought, oh, it's time to take out all of my winter clothes. And it was not weather in Phoenix. Okay, so, oh, it's actually not gonna be that bad of a week though. Let's see here. So a Monday will be Eighty-five degrees with a low of fifty-eight. Nice. Tuesday will be eighty-one degrees with a low of fifty-eight. Wednesday is eighty-five degrees with a low of sixty. 
Thursday is 89 degrees with a low of 60. Friday is 90 degrees, <laughs> low of 62. We're going in the wrong direction. 87 degrees, 61 degrees for Saturday. And Sunday, 84 degrees, 62 degrees. So nice, pretty normal October weather, um, but not getting cold yet. It's cool in the morning, but not yet. Not time for it yet, I guess. Okay, so let's start on the sidebar. Um, the sidebar is the only area in this planner that you can actually use a box or a full box from the um, for the regular planning kits because it's a little bit wider. So I'll do my meals there and then I've kind of been putting when I finish a kit, everything from the kit on the page. So if I want something that matches, but I'm not really seeing anything fall in here. Hmm. It kind of looks like fall. Okay, well, hmm. Okay, well, we will come back to that um, because, quite frankly, I am just catching up on my memory planning, so I'm working on September and October right now. So I don't have a lot of fall extra things from kits yet because I am just trying to get caught up. Okay, so I'll leave that there and I'll come back to that. Okay, so Monday, bring this back over. So I'm going to mark physical therapy first and I've been marking it as a workout. So I have 9.30 on Monday, and we're going to take it down to two a week instead of three a week that I've been doing. Um, just because with the, shred the shredding and the new exercises that he's given me for balance, as well as the stem with the needles, I am so sore. I actually have bruises on the back of my legs right now and I kind of want them to heal a little bit. It It's working, I mean, my foot feels so much better, but I can't take it. <laughs> it's like, I am really wimpy, I guess, because I can't take it. Um, but I can go to yoga because he actually recommends the yoga for me. Hmm. Where's my yoga ones? Sorry, I swore I was going to have everything ready this time. And that's what happens when you clean up your desk. So. Okay. So I will not go to the Tuesday yoga class because it's a really, really hard class and I'm not ready for that yet. And But I can go to Thursday and Saturday. Just got to stay healthy. 
So, so Thursday is at 7 a.m. And Saturday is at 7 a.m. So mark that. One thing that I must do on Monday is um, my husband and I are switching dentist appointments because he is going to be out of town for his. So I was supposed to go on Tuesday. I need to call and let them know that that's what we're doing. So physical therapy's marked. Yoga's marked. Okay. <clears throat> And then I want to mark on Thursday, I had to reschedule my dinner with my friend. So I just want to remark that. So I need to call the dentist. Why can I not put a sticker down straight? Like, really? Love. Um, this is removable matte paper, but, you know, the Hobonichi paper is very thin. So even though it's removable, it doesn't really like it when you remove it. So call dentist. Switch appointments. I've confirmed my appointment, so I don't think there's going to be any issue, but I don't know if they like it when one person's scheduled and another person shows up. And then I'm going to mark the Cardinal game for Sunday at 1.25. I just um, ordered some little football stickers because I'm going to run out of these right pretty soon. So last weekend, I went to the grocery store and I made a big charcuterie spread for the game, which was kind of our lunch and dinner together. I spent a lot of money, but I still have some stuff left, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that again this weekend or if we're just going to watch the game and not worry about trying to eat at the same time. Um, I do like blocking the time for my Etsy shop. That has worked really well. Once I got my printer up and running, I've been able to kind of catch up on things. Um, luckily, the things I needed to do for orders, I didn't involve like the budget kits. It was more about the envelopes and things that I could, that were already pre-made. So um, it didn't delay me as much as I thought. The problem was, was finding a photo printer that's an HP one. Um, in stock. So I finally found one at staples.com and had it shipped to me. So they were, I mean, they actually had a better selection than Amazon did. So Amazon had nothing but refurbished. So I guess, you know, that's just a sign of people working from home, right? Okay. So I'll put in my mom's visit. So I'm going to do I went and saw her yesterday, which was Saturday. So I'll do Tuesday, Friday. I like to go around two o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday because they do like a music dance class. And so we kind of participate with her and she likes it. Um, I will tell you that it is amazing. First of all, their instructor, Shannon, is amazing. But she has the most beautiful voice, so I could just go and listen to her sing all the time. So I'll visit my mom there. And then for videos for the week... Um, this is not posted in my shop, but I made it in my shop, but, um, I do have a different one in the shop, but I can post this one too if you're looking 
to have a sticker for that. So Friday morning, since I don't have physical therapy, I can do filming in the morning and that will be a budget with me. And then the other one will be a plan with me. And I normally do that on Sunday. And then I want to, um, I caught up on memory planning a lot. This week that was one good thing about not feeling good and kind of having to be home is that i kind of just decided i would at least do that and so i'm almost done with september i'm caught up in the month of october and then i've had some requests to do flip throughs or to kind of go through the process of memory keeping in my planner so if you'd like to see that let me know in the comments below um for me, memory planning is such a creative outlet. I love it. I just did a flip through of my whole year last night and it's just the little things that I would have forgotten about are, you know, I have pictures and I have notes in my memory planning. So not only is it creative as far as using the kits, but it's creative in the way that you journal and things like that. So if that's something that you're thinking about wanting to do or would interest you, let me know and I can definitely get something filmed. So I'm going to just write memory planning because I want to finish getting caught up. I'm finding if I don't block it on my schedule, it doesn't happen. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, that's Mike's dentist appointment now. Dinner with Maria, Carnal game marked, okay. So let's look at a to-do list and also blocking time out. So I am not normally an orange girl, so this is kind of different for me. Orange or brown, but I'm just gonna kind of highlight the dates in here. <clears throat> and then so let me know how your week has gone um, and if you're excited for fall I love we've been watching the baseball series and we were watching the Houston Dodger game last night and I was just so jealous they had jackets and scarves and hats on and I'm still in t-shirt and shorts here so it is what it is right okay so my to-do list is going to go down here I've got to get my house cleaned this week Okay. I feel like I use this fawn one all the time, but it's kind of neutral. So let me just. I'm going to put these on and then move away from it so it can dry. A few dot markers, particularly on this paper. Um, you have to kind of give them a minute and that's why I've been kind of working on looking and creating some little dots that I can use instead of this so anybody start their Christmas shopping um, I actually got a lot done the other day when I was laying in bed I did some online shopping so I got my sisters done, I've got my nieces, three of the girls, three of the girls done, but I still have more to do for the kids. Um, I have a couple things from my daughter's birthday list that I'm going to get her for Christmas. And 
I have no idea on my husband or my other daughter. So, but I feel good that I got my sisters done and taken care of and ordered. Um, it's a step in the right direction, so. Okay, so for Monday trash, and I almost forgot last Monday, <laughs> um, I need to meal prep grocery store. I desperately need to clean the bathrooms and I need to vacuum. So on Friday will also be bathrooms. Vacuum dust. I did a little bit of dusting, so that that's kind of done. And then I need to do the floors. I'll do that on Saturday. My husband took care of the outside, so that was nice. And then I need to clean out my refrigerator. So I'm just gonna put that as part of trash. I started to do it this morning and then I just, <laughs> I didn't wanna do it basically. I'm like, oh, I need to go watch church online instead of that, so. There was that. Okay, so now that I've got kind of my week laid out, and I definitely will be filling in things here. Um, something else I was supposed to do on Monday. Do not remember. Okay, so now we can block out the time for Etsy. Okay, so I come back from physical therapy. Walk out two hours here. On thir Tuesday, I'm gonna do it when I come back from seeing my mom. Thinking of switching back to the silhouette versus the Cricut, um, I learned how to do stickers on a silhouette, but then my daughter and I started the shop and she liked Cricut and Cricut Design Space, so that's what we've been doing. Um, I'm having some issues with the Cricut software on my desktop, and so I went and got out my old silhouette machine and it's amazing how little I remember on how to do it. I mean, literally. <laughs> it was like all new. Um, and I had the Cameo, the first Cameo, so I had to go back and get what they call legacy software because it's not compatible with the new software. So um, I got that downloaded and kind of started playing around, but it's just very different than the Cricut Design Space so far um so i just need to relearn it so i have it set up right now on my kitchen table which just thrills my husband to know um that we are eating on the other side of the table from the machine but it's easier for me out there than sitting trying to find place in my office okay so I've got time blocked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm trying really hard to kind of keep the weekend open. I know I'm going to need to do laundry here. Sheets and towels. And then I normally do laundry midweek, so I'll do laundry here. Okay, this little sidebar looks really sad, but I don't know. Let me just see. One moment, please. Yeah. 
This was the first reusable sticker book that I used. Um, and let me see if I have anything in here. Hmm, this is kind of fall. I don't know that it matches. I could do, let me see all the pumpkins match. Not a lot of fall. I could maybe use that little computer. Oh, wait, here. I kind of think that one matches better. Okay, let's go this way. I can see how this is going today. I think that looks crooked. <laughs> Try this again. You probably all are going, yeah, she's putting that down really crooked. Okay, let's go this way. Let's see if that's better. As much as I love the Hobonichi, I almost wish it had the Erin Condren paper. It's very forgiving with stickers, but I love this format and I love this size. So this is what I'm going with and I'm too much invested right now. So we're going with this. And then I want to mark packages that come in this week since I've started my Christmas shopping. Um, um, I used to, when I had a ring planner, I would track all my purchases, like when I ordered them, when I got them, things like that. And um, I stopped doing that when I went to this planner. So I'm just going to... See if I can find a happy mail. Let's see here. Oh, this little planner guy looks cute. I would put it over there. Take this one off. Nope. Mm -mm. That does not. Will not come back off. later um happy mail hmm. don't see see a little pumpkin guy put him on there put this little calendar on there and mark it.
Okay, so this is my overview of the week from the 18th through the 24th. And I will add to it, of course, and then I'm clipping it with this little index clip, and this is from Jet Pens. This is the orange color, but it's really more brassy. I'm really enjoying these because I can clip the weekly. I have the daily page clipped. Somewhere back here. Oh, took my clip off. Put my clip back on. And then the monthly is clipped. Wow. Okay, I swear I clipped him. Where are they? Where's my clips now? There we go. Okay, so the October um, monthly is a lot easier to find with the index clips, and they just pull off and pull back on. So they're actually sticking on a lot better than when I used a tab, paper tab. So I am still using the daily pages for journaling and kind of just a overview of the day. This is helping me so much with my memory planning because I just pulled this out. Oh, here's my daily clip. I just didn't move it. Um, I just pulled this out. I have this open on my desk and this helps me to remember what I did each day when I'm working on the memory plan. So that is helpful. Okay, so that is everything today. Oh, I did want to show you um, this is an October calendar from Sterling Inc. And she has a Facebook group. And if you sign up for her newsletter, she downloads these for free. I did print it on vellum paper so that it wouldn't add any more bulk than necessary. And she just downloaded the November one as well. Hmm. Why is it sticking? So this is the November pattern. So, um, and there's a blank page before the daily. So I've just been putting that in because I just think it's stunning. And I like the fact that it kind of just puts some color into the planner. So just wanted to show you those as well. I think that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know down in the comments below if you would a, like to see memory planning and kind of the process and also how your week is going. I hope you all had a much better week last week than I did. And I'm fingers crossed gonna have a great week this week. Take care, bye. Every moment tonight.